Hey, I'm Maxwell Ryan from Apartment Therapy, and I'm here in New York City at New York Now, the biggest trade show for the home that we've got. Right behind me, we're gonna explore the home section today. It's everything from home furnishings to tabletop to decorative accessories. There's about a mile of stuff back there, and we're gonna go inside, and I wanna tell you what are the trends I'm seeing this season. So I want to start off by talking about three trends that I've seen around the show. The first I call vintage luxury, and this is you're going to see all over. A few years ago you saw industrial chic, it's over. Anything that was sort of common or industrial or raw was good, but now it has to have a sort of an extra twist to it, it has to be luxurious, it has to be turned up a little bit. So you're going to see more embellishment, you're going to see shiny, shiny edges, shiny little corners and, and surfaces, particularly copper and brass. So right here is a good example. I'm in the Roost booth, which I love, all of their stuff. And here's a galvanized tray. And a few years ago, they might have just done straight galvanized. Now, they have to have a little rim of sort of a little luxurious copper around it for, to give it contrast and, and that sort of that warm extra texture. And you're going to see that all throughout the home and the show. The next trend I'm seeing a lot of is happy colors. Over the last few years, uh, coming out of the recession, there was a resurgence of color, but they were very dark, very saturated, very muted, a little heavy, a little somber. Now I'm seeing light, bright colors, happy colors. They're sort of colors filled with white pastels, um, dusty colors, and you're seeing them through ceramics, through out tabletop, into bedding, blankets, um, the, runs the gamut, little pops of color. And for example, here's right behind me, I am in the, in the booth over here of Takenaka from Japan, and they have the most amazing array of colors across their bento box collection. And I've chosen this one right here, which is sort of a salmon colored. But as you can see, it's, it's optimistic, it's bright, um, it's a little bit dusty, so it has a little bit of sophistication, but it's very happy. Another trend I'm seeing is that as we venture more and more into being in a digital world, we're seeing the resurgence of natural materials, raw materials, authentic materials, to sort of ensoul the fact that the digital world's a little cold. So you're gonna see leather, like hand-tooled leather. You're gonna see um, natural woods. You're gonna see natural stone. Take a look at this. I'm at Native Union here from England, and they have, what's lovely about this is that the iPhone is a very, it couldn't be more technical than an iPhone, but they're doing a case in Spanish marble. They're doing a case in Italian leather. They're doing a case in walnut. So that technical little plastic uh, sort of um, digital device you now have has got sort of a tremendous amount of beautiful materiality to it, warming it up and giving it soul. So come get lost, come check it out, and I'll see you next time in New York now.